So the Bloomberg New Energy Finance London Summit finished up. So again, three takeaways. Distribution grid investment, building stock, and energy density. First one, distribution grid investment. It was the CEO of E.ON, Johannes Thiessen, called out that for the, the energy transition to, to work, we need to have the local distribution grid almost looking after itself and looking after its own problems and balancing and, and, and. So what do you call them? Microgrids, community grids, whatever, down at the bottom level. And he made the point that while there's been a huge amount of investment and there's a lot of smarts being added to the distribution grids across Europe, there are still a lot of places where it's not that smart out of the edge. And for all this to work, it has to be made smart. And that's going to take a lot of investment still. Second one, building stock. There was a couple of good sessions on the impact of the recent EU directives and incentives around making Europe's buildings far more energy efficient and zero emissions and, and, and. But it was uh, Philippe Delorme from Schneider Electric made the point that 90% of the buildings we see around us today, be they commercial, residential, whatever, 90% of the buildings that we see today in Europe will be here still in 2050. So it's not all about new bills that'll make everything energy efficient and whatever. It's about retrofitting all the stuff we have. That's a huge challenge. Third one, energy density. It was uh, Tiffine Bradley from um, Bloomberg New Energy Finance did a great session on the relative energy densities. Now, for fossil fuels and all their faults, they're incredibly good at having a, a high energy density. And as we start replacing um, fossil fuels in things like um, shipping, then, well, what's the alternative? Hydrogen? Ammonia? One of the ones, because because they have quite low densities, given the way the current technology is today, he called out LNG, and they made some interesting predictions about the use of LNG in shipping in the future. Now, Mitsubishi were also on, and they were talking about using ammonia in the turbines to drive ships, and they're also talking about carbon capture in maritime today. So a couple of interesting things happening there. And before I forget, quote of the day, that was uh, Belin Linares from Achonia. When asked for kind of a parting comment, she made the statement, if you think everything is under control, then obviously you're not going fast enough. And when it comes to the energy transition and net zero and, 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 that's very true.